Hello guys, in this video, we'll show you how to create and automate your PDF generation process using PDF Maker API. You can also use Zapier or Make.com. We have in-app integration for both of these. So let's get started. We'll get the app link in the video description, so do check it out. Let's log into the account, click here to log in. And here, let's create a new template. Click on this plus icon to create a template. Here, name your template. And here, in a data source, select API. For Zapier and MIG.com, you also have to select API. Click on next and here you will get a postman collection for all the requests that are supported by the API here in the left hand side. You can check that out and here click on next. These are some basic settings. Click on next. So here you can create your template. We are based on Google Docs, so you can also import your existing Google Docs file or your Microsoft Word file. To do so, just click on this button, replace Google Doc. And here you will see all your Google Docs and Word Docs. Just double click on it and it will get imported. After you're done, you can click on close. We are going to have a simple template for the demo so i'm just going to use the default one on the right hand side you will see a few options text images and tables for line items now let's see how to add text fields or text placeholders to create a placeholder just name your placeholder anything you want let's say text underscore place one this can be anything you can name it whatever you want after you're done just copy it and paste it in the document okay and you, you have to create a new one just click on this button clear and create new and you can create another text to copy it and paste it wherever you want and you can click on clear and create new to create a new one. This is for the text fields. So these particular placeholders will be replaced by the data you provide from the API. And if you want to have images as a dynamic placeholder, you can also create another image one also this can be anything you can create like you can name it whatever you want and here we have to specify the width of the image and the height will be adjusted automatically so default is 100 you can click on this to have the big image after you're done copy it and paste it wherever you want a image and also this can be like you can create as many images you want just clear and create new also these images requires a url like image url so whenever you send a request for the pdf these like image data should be a image url i'll like explain you in a bit and next is table for the line items or something else so here you have to follow these steps. First is step one. Insert a new table to a document or use existing one. So we don't have any table. Let's add a table. Insert table. Let's have three by three table. Column A, 
column a column c so now let's create a table placeholder let's call it as table one now you see few more steps what is this? step 2.1 add this to the first column copy it just click on it it will get copied add it in the first column so in the first column i have added it and step 2.2 add this in the last column just copy it and paste it in the last column now in the step 3 you can have your placeholder so let's say you want to add a text field, the same process, text table one. You can name it whatever you want. Just copy it and you can add it here. So in the first column, you have to add it after the first thing you copied. And after that, you have to paste the placeholder. And Let's add one image as well. So, image table one. Copy it and paste it in the second column. And for the third, let's create two. Copy it and you have to add before the ending symbol, which is the this one before the before the symbol add the placeholder so you have created a template and also you can create as many tables you want now we have covered like how to add text fields images and tables after you're done just click on save so your template has been created obviously we have just created a dummy template you can create like format it whatever you want and and you can use the placeholders wherever you want to place it after you're done with this step just click on this icon which says automate this template and here you'll get all the details in the postman collection we all we have also like introduced all the things but here as well we have like listed like what are the steps you need to follow first you need to have the route like this is the endpoint you need to hit let me open a postman so i'll able to like explain you so here we have a postman let me add a new request so this is a post request so let me copy it and paste it here this is a post request second step is to add api key so in the headers just api key and the value will be you can go to settings and here you will get the api key copy it and paste it here next step go to body and here let me select raw and here in json so here what we need to provide is first the template id let me copy this and we'll use it so i have copied it just a second so first step is you need to provide a template id so the template id is this just copy this or you can also find it from here so below the template name there is template id copy it and this can be used paste it here and next is the data so what are these data so 
so these are the placeholder data so this can be used so if you want to get the placeholder data like placeholders we have here template placeholder route so you can hit this route to get all the placeholders for now let's have the placeholders from here so let's say you have a placeholder of text test underscore place dash one so this is your placeholder so this needs to be a key and here you can have your value for second this is text two i'm going to fast forward this process so we don't waste any time So we have all the things set up. So I have added template ID. Then inside the data object, we have the first placeholder. This needs to be exactly same. So make sure you like pay attention. Then this is the value. And for the second text, we have the text. Then for the image, we have the URL for the image. And for the table, as you can see, we copied this part and for the key and inside this is an array and inside this array there is two objects this means this table will have two rows you can have as many rows as you want so for this you just have to have another object okay and here for the same test table one we have the first test table one and then for the image we have this particular placeholder here and then so on we have the second text placeholder so if we hit send so we have a pdf file right here just copy this and open it here as you can see, our data has been replaced with the actual placeholders. So here we had the first text file, like test text placeholder, then the second, then the image, then the table. As you can see right here. In the second place, we had the image and so on. So this is how you use PDF Maker API to generate PDFs and this can also be used inside Zapier and Make.com so you can make your flow even better and have all your other business tools to sync up and create PDFs. So if you have any queries or questions feel free to ask us in the comments. You can also reach out to us by clicking on this button and we'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.